And welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending March 15th, 2014. Starting with uh, some important Studio Ghibli news, G-Kids has announced they'll be releasing the Tale of Princess Kaguya film in North America. This is the latest film from Studio Ghibli and Isao Takahara, who also directed Grave of the Fireflies, Pom Poco, and other films. Uh, G-Kids is, is the company that orchestrated the theatrical release of Summer Wars, Poppy Hill, and Letter to Momo. So certainly a good pedigree there. In other Ghibli news, uh, there's been uh, an announcement. Um, sorry, it just uh, went off. Oh, yes. Uh, the Wind Rises has earned a total of $3.3 million in U.S. box office returns. That's good. That puts it already above Princess Mononoke, though it hasn't caught up with Cal's Moving Castle, which earned 4.7. Uh, it earned $871,000 last weekend, uh, which puts it number 16 overall. But it is now the number 10 uh, film in terms of box, box office receipts for all anime films released in America up to this point. So certainly doing well. In sort of sad news, Toshio Suzuki of Studio Ghibli has announced he is stepping down as producer, although he is going to stay around as general manager. Basically, he's not going to be involved in such direct day-to-day -day stuff as he was before. Uh, this is sad because of what Toshio Suzuki has been for Studio Ghibli. Very instrumental in the foundation of Studio Ghibli and stick around for the backstory where I'll explain more about that. Meanwhile, the Mind My Miracle Kickstarter, Kickstarter ended uh, with uh, doing quite well. It tried to raise $30,000 for an English dub of this uh, kid's anime film. Ended with $107,000, so we'll definitely get the dub of that, plus the original theatrical pamphlet, which is very nice. Should reach backers in October. This is the story of a third grader with a magically active imagination. So good to see uh, an American release of what looks like a charming, charming little film. Let's move on to some Attack on Titan news, shall we? People seem to like that show uh, rather a bit. Uh, Funimation has announced uh, the uh, the dub cast for Attack on Titan. You can go to AnimeNewsNetwork.com for the list. A uh, whole bunch of folks listed there. I'm not going to go through them, but it's the, it's Funimation, folks. Um, we will, we are also going to get a uh, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack release. With a collector's edition and a, uh, a limited edition. Uh, the collector's edition will be $129, which will include extras, uh, art card, 24 pages, blah, 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 blah. Replica of, the ne of Aaron's key necklace, a sword necklace, etc., etc. And the limited edition will be a $90 and will contain some extras and uh, art card and booklet and so forth. Uh, they will ship on June 3rd. So um, that will be uh, the first 13 episodes of the anime series. Uh, you also, there'll also be a standard edition release of some kind. So yeah, limited edition coming out, or I'm sorry, uh, Attack on Titan coming out over here. Strike Witches has a new OVA project. I call it that because it's literally called Strike Witches OVA, not original video animation, Operation Victory Arrow. That's right. It's actually Strike Witches OVA is the name because it's Operation. It's cute. Anyway, it's going to tell three stories about some of the characters who um, returned home between uh, the second TV series and the movie. So you get to see some of those little bits and pieces there. There'll be some special event screenings and uh, so forth and so on. Uh, this will commence operations this fall, so they say. Some new OVAs from Hayate the Combat Butler, although they're just straight up OVAs. They'll be adapting some of the stories that were in the manga but have not yet been adapted into anime. Uh, they will be released, uh, let's see here, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, June 18th will be, at least the first release will be coming out. So more OVAs for Hayate the Combat Butler. Very good. Um, also going to be some TV anime shorts for Record of Lotus War. Uh, this is a basically a D&D fantasy story. It actually started as a D&D campaign way back in the day, and then it had anime adaptations and manga adaptations and so forth. Um, and a uh, website has opened along with images from it, and um, all I can say is, huh? I don't know. Uh, doesn't look like D&D-esque fantasy to me, but that's, that's the plan. Uh, it's going to be called, get this, Have Some Record of Lotus War Is That Delicious? So apparently it's a Lotus War made cafe thing. I don't know. It's, it's odd. Moving on, um, the Tiger and Bunny movie, The Rising, 
just opened in America yesterday, actually, on Friday, uh, screening in various theaters around uh, North America, California, Illinois, New Jersey, Ohio, Texas, Virginia, Washington, etc. Um, obviously a limited release, but it is out there. So if you want to check it out, head over to ANN for more. We finally have a poster for the new Sailor Moon adaptation, and it looks like Sailor Moon. I mean, there's nothing really shocking about it. I will actually do a quick... Uh, this is just part of it, obviously, but, I mean, that's pretty much Sailor Moon. So they promise in about a week they will post to the website with some animation examples. Uh, the website just uh, basically launched with a countdown. So at some point we'll be able to see where this is, but it looks like Sailor Moon. Interestingly, coming back over to America, um, oh, I should mention that the Sailor Moon anime will be streaming worldwide on the Nico Nico uh, uh, site when it comes out. So you'll be able to get it internationally all at once, hopefully. Meanwhile, uh, a, a DVD for Mononoke, the anime series that's a spinoff of Ayakashi, um, well, is listed at least on Amazon. Uh, it's a $20 DVD uh, slated to ship July 15th. Now, Sometimes these things appear and disappear because somebody hits the wrong button. Sometimes it's because sometimes it's a, it's a mistake. Sometimes it's the wrong series. Um, you know, in other words, this does not mean there will be a release, but it's a strong hint that there may well be. Um, doesn't say if it's a different word. I mean, it's just, it's just, it just says it's Mononoke. Um, who knows? Uh, it's listed as being released by Cinedyme. Who knows? It, it's odd. There is no North America video release of Mononoke, so maybe it's something else. It's certainly a it's a common word. It basically means forest spirit. Um, so, who knows? We do know we're going to get more Ghost in the Shell. That's right. A new Ghost in the Shell 25th anniversary uh, series of projects has been released. That's right, 25th anniversary um of the original manga there is going to be a series of five short movies premiering march 28th so that's just in a couple of weeks uh called the ghost in the shell arise borderless project border colon less because of course we got to go there then there'll be an ebook release of the original manga an art exhibition and a music event and they're teasing some other projects too possibly um so some five short movies that's pretty darn cool hopefully we'll see something there uh, NIS America has released more information about their Blu-ray release of Toradora. It's going to reissue the anime series on Blu-ray with an English dub. Uh, premium edition for $130 um, retail and $60 for the standard edition, uh, but that's for each uh, half of the series. Uh, Cassandra Lee, uh, I'm sorry, Cassandra Lee Morris as Taiga, Eric Scott Kimmerer as Ryuji, uh, Christine Marie Cabanos as Minori, Johnny Young Bosch as Yusaku, and Erica Harlacher as uh, Ami. So, sweet. Let's see here. Um, there's also a, a, a trailer of the dub that you can go and check. As typical with trailers, it's, you know, hit and miss as to the effectiveness of that trailer, but uh, you can at least get a, a feel for how the characters are, are being handled. There's some crowdfunding uh, news out there. The third box set for Dear Brother, Onisama A, is, uh, is out there now this, uh, through Anime Sols, which is trying to do sort of low-budget crowdfunding for American releases of Japanese anime. They're looking for $13,000 for this release. Uh, that'll involve episodes 27 through 39. So um, we'll see how that works. You know, best of luck to them. Um, it's actually an adaptation of Rose of Versailles, I didn't realize. It's basically a modern adaptation of Rose of Versailles. It's pretty cool. Um, interesting note, the uh, most recent, uh, well, actually, the last year's Doraemon film, the most recent that was actually came out anyway, um, was re released on TV um, a couple weeks ago in Japan, and it was censored. Now, Doraemon's a kid's anime. Why would it ever be censored? Because there's a scene where a uh, this vacuum hyper... Hyper vacuum sort of teleporter thing switches on, and there's all this wind flying around. And um, Shizuka, the girl, gets all of her clothes ripped off. Classy. Um, she's in grade school. Um, so they basically added shafts of light for the TV release. Now, Doraemon has a long tradition of showing Shizuka, you know, in the bathroom or in in the bath, things like that. Um, so it's not a big deal generally. 
Um, but they censored it this time. Now, folks are crying foul. This is a result of the uh, Tokyo Youth Ordinance Bill Amendment from a couple of years ago, which isn't the first time it's ever had an issue, actually. Um, but, mm, gosh. So, anyway, um, more information on that in the backstory. Um, but there was a censorship of this scene. I'm kind of wondering why they had to show a grade schooler naked. But, anyway. Um, see here, uh, in the, I believe, the final bit of uh, anime news, we, we do have some manga news. Uh, the second season of Kuroku's Basketball TV show will be ending on March 29th with the 50th episode. Um, now, there's plenty more um, stuff to go in terms of the Kuroku's Basketball story, and one episode that actually did not air, so hopefully that'll be released on a DVD at some point. Moving on to manga news, the suspect arrested for the Kuroku's basketball threats that went out a while back, um, basically death threats to folks doing Kuroku's basketball, um, admitted to the charges in court. Uh, he basically said, yeah, I, I did all of it. Uh, he added that he'll accept the court's judgment and any punishment without appeal. Um, he said he made the threats out of jealousy. He was basically depressed. And uh, he was trying to drag the creator of uh, Kroku's Basketball down with him. Sort of an odd story. I'll explain more in the, in the backstory when uh, we get there. Uh, in other manga news, the Berserk manga will be resuming April 11th. The uh, mangaka uh, Miura, uh, Kentaro Miura, uh, took a break to make another manga called Ningan Tomakia. hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. A little mini-series. So he did that. He's done. Now he's going to go back to Berserk soon, so that'll never end. Um, finally, some, uh, we'll end up with some Attack on Titan news. There are 31 million volumes of Attack on Titan in circulation right now. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Translated into eight languages, published in over 10 countries. Obviously, you know, other manga have gotten better than that, but in this short time, that's stunning. So Attack on Titan certainly doing well. So that's the news, uh, anime and manga-wise, for the week. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.